A city golf course under renovation, dealing with quite a few setbacks, heavy rains, flooding and snow all this year. The night team's John Paul Barajas met with the president of the Alamo City Golf Trail to find out how the Olmos Basin golf course is coming along and if it's impacting taxpayers. These gravel paths, soaked grass and bald spots on the fairway will soon become the upgraded version of the Olmos Basin golf course. But the journey to get the job done has found its way into its share of weather-related bunkers. Had we had optimal weather all winter and, and spring and early summer up to this point, uh, you would have seen those areas completely full with grass. President of Alamo City Golf Trail Andrew Peterson explains yeah. they started renovations in January to give the course a facelift. About a month in, we had an unprecedented February winter storm. Luckily for them, no new grass had been laid down yet, but crews still couldn't work. Then came floods in May and now a rare wet July. We're always at the mercy of Mother Nature and Mother Nature's undefeated. When we plant the sprigs, if we get a heavy rain the next day or so afterwards, it'll have a tendency to wash those sprigs away. So that's kind of the downside to what we've experienced with the floodings. Peterson says originally they hoped to have the course done around Labor Day. The new goal sometime in October. But are taxpayer dollars being swept away with the newly planted sprigs? That's the beautiful thing. So we're a part of the Alamo City Golf Trail Group, which has, for lack of a better term, a, a management agreement to operate the city of San Antonio's golf courses. All the uh, uh, operating proceeds that we've been able to uh, develop over the last number of years are paying for this project. Meaning the over $3 million project plus added expenses due to delays is costing taxpayers no additional money and is self-funded, according to Peterson. You need to be a golfer yourself. I don't know if you want me on this course, <laughs> man. <laughs> John Paul Barajas, KSAT, 12 News.